In today's video, I'll be talking about how to make money betting on basketball, and predominantly the NBA. The NBA is one of the most profitable sports when it comes to positive EV and arbitrage betting for sharp bettors, primarily because of two reasons. Number one is the number of games in a season, and number two is the effect of one particular player on the outcome of the entire game. Fundamentally, arbitrage and positive EV bets exist because of market inefficiencies, aka sportsbook mistakes, and I've explained how you can make money off these in my other videos. Bookmakers will generally offer markets on nearly everything. Which team is going to win the game? How many total points will there be? But they also offer markets on more obscure things such as how many points a particular player will score, or things such as how many points, rebounds, and assists a player will get. In basketball, one of the biggest reasons for a sportsbook or DFS platform to make a mistake is because of a lineup change. Basketball is the most interconnected sport, and this means a single player has a much greater impact on every betting line offered for the game compared to, for example, a sport like baseball. Let's take a look at a baseball example, but you can think of other sports as well. In baseball, let's use Aaron judge who is a baseball star but whether he is in the lineup or not doesn't really impact other players hits or rbi lines yes there will be an impact on the money line which is which team will win as it means it's more likely that aaron judge's team will win the game if he's playing the lineup and there will also be some impact in the spread and totals markets but the difference in the expected outcome if aaron judge was in the lineup compared to if there was his replacement is significantly less than if in basketball whether lebron james was in the lineup or whether it was his replacement. LeBron James affects every facet of the game in basketball. Him being injured or sitting out for load management purposes moves a fair price for every single line offered by sportsbooks. What this means is if LeBron James is not in the lineup, then that means there are more shots for other players on his team to take, which naturally leads to more points, more assists, and more rebounds for other players to get. The style of play for their team in the game changes dramatically. Frankly, everything changes. For us as profitable betters, this is great news because it means that the fair lines not just for the money line and which team will win will change but also for the different markets such as other player points and assists. Some books will update their lines faster than others once this injury or loan management situation is announced and if you can act upon this information fast enough there is positive EV or arbitrage opportunities that come up because some sports books will be too slow to update their fair prices because of that injury or some some sportsbooks could have just overcorrected or undercorrected for that change, and therefore their prices are completely off. This would therefore lead to arbitrage and positive EV opportunities as the markets move around and prices change in response to this news. In the LeBron James example, let's say one sportsbook such as DraftKings is slower than others to update their prices for other players' markets, such as another player on LeBron James's team, Anthony Davis, to score over or under X number of points. In this case, you would be able to get in a positive EV bet by betting on Anthony Davis over the number of points because that price didn't factor in that LeBron James is no longer playing and therefore Anthony Davis is actually more likely to get those number of points. And you can turn this into an arbitrage bet by hedging on a sportsbook that was fast enough to update their odds and therefore lock in a guaranteed profit. Sometimes you can also do middle bets, which is a very low risk betting system where you bet over on one side and under on another side and for a small loss or no loss at all you make a lot of money if it lands exactly in the middle of your two numbers for example for close to even odds you can get an nba player over 14.5 points on one sports book and the other side of the bet is under 15.5 points on another sports book and this means you'll win both bets if it lands on exactly 15 and you make a lot of money and if it doesn't land on 15 well you win one bet and lose the other bet and you lose a small amount of money or sometimes no money at all. So in this case you win both bets if it lands on exactly 15 points for that player and if it lands on anything else say 16 or like 14 then you'll win exactly one bet and lose the other bet and in that case you don't make or lose any money at all. So it's basically a free roll. Now it's very difficult to find these arbitrage and positive review opportunities yourselves because these lineup situations happen fast and sportsbooks are slow but they aren't that slow in updating their odds so if you were manually doing 
doing it, it would be pretty difficult. And also there's so many games to look out for that makes it really impossible. But one tool that lets you find these bets relatively easily is today's sponsor, Odds Jam, which has real-time odds scraping software that scrapes the odds across hundreds of different markets across multiple sports books, and therefore can easily identify these sports book mistakes very quickly as a result of these changes in lineups and player injuries. This saves you time from having to look for everything yourself, which is very time consuming and realistically pretty impossible. And it also has the option to give you instant email updates when bets that you are filtering for do exist. This lets you get ahead of others who are also looking for the same opportunities. And being first to place these bets is a big advantage as these arbitrage bets and positive EV bets disappear very quickly once bookies or sportsbooks get a lot of volume being placed on them and therefore they will shift their prices back in line. And as an added bonus, you can get 25% off your first month of Odds Jam if you want to check them out by using the link in the description below and using the code SHANE at checkout. In basketball, injuries and especially the concept of load management, which is a systematic and often last minute decision to bench star players to help reduce their workload over the course of a long and grueling season are very common. And therefore this creates very drastic lineup and betting line changes than practically any other sport out there. And the second reason that the NBA is so profitable is there's 82 games across a single season, multiply that by 30 different teams, comparing that with something like the NFL, which only has 17 games with 32 teams, or the Premier League, which has 38 games in a season with only 20 teams, we can clearly see that there's a lot more games that exist in the NBA. This naturally means there's more lines, more markets, and therefore more sports with mistakes for you to take advantage of and make money. In addition to the regular season, there's also the playoffs, which can go up to seven games in the series versus the NFL, for example, which are just single elimination games. This means there's just so much more opportunity, probably multiple games across every day of the week. And that means there's more opportunity for daily compounding of your bankroll and growing your profits exponentially. On each arbitrage or positive EV bet, you might only make one to 4%. One to 4% per day doesn't sound like a lot, but can Compared to like the stock market, which only gets 8% per year on average, this is now significant. This is a level of return that is very, very difficult to get anywhere else other than from sports betting, as there's no real other financial mechanism that allows you to have these compounding returns so easily. Even let's say you make $5 a time by doing arbitrage betting, that doesn't sound like a lot. But given that each bet only takes a minute or two as you're just bang, bang, pressing a couple of buttons, if you place 10 of these bets a day, that's $50 a day or over $18,000 per year, which is really pretty good for probably less than hours of work each day, making it an excellent side hustle. So there you have it. That's the reason why betting on the NBA and basketball in general is just so profitable. And as you can see here, pretty much all the opportunities you'll find are from the NBA when it comes to arbitrage and positive EV betting. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something useful. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.